Mark TV, elevate. Welcome to yet another edition of Imark TV and uh, today we bring you something that I believe most of you haven't really seen before all your lives and this is ceramics and pottery and this is also taking place in Immaculate Heart Girls School. Now as you can see right behind me there are several students seated at Potter's Wheels. I have just learned that these are called Potter's Wheels and what they're, going to, what they're doing is what we are about to find out. Uh, it seems to be involving so much energy, as you can see, she's working really hard. I would like to speak to a gentleman over here to let us know exactly what this activity is called and what it's all about. Good evening, sir. Good evening, how are you? Fine, thank you. Um, what is this activity all about? This one is pottery and ceramics. Okay. Pottery and ceramics. So, from pottery and ceramics, what materials or items or equipment can you make? You can make uh, different, different uh, articles. For example, we can make pots, we can make uh, dishes, we can make plates, we can make uh, uh, cups, jugs, or houseware. At many materials that are used when you are in a family. Use it in cooking, use it in making food, use it in, uh, in distributing the food that is houseware that is. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. So as you've heard, this equipment, this wheel can be used to make uh, various household equipment. But I have also heard that there's something called ceramics engineering, which we are going to get to know better and deeper with the help of our dear teacher of art, Mr. Moses. Good evening, sir. Good evening, uh, young lady. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, could you help us shed more light into the activity that's taking place in this room? I've learned it is called ceramics and pottery, but I, I don't think our viewers get exactly what this is. Thank you. Now, this is all about the new approach that is coming up from the uh, Curriculum Development Center where we have to train students to be job creators, not job seekers. And here as a school, Immaculate Heart Girls School, uh, we thought about what can we do? What can we chip in that will make a, a, a variable uh, and uh, a, a lead of a substance that will go through this school? Then as art department, we thought about having a ceramics studio and in this ceramics it had to take us through uh, developing the equipment that you are seeing here this is a potter's wheel and as you are seeing it uh, it requires you to be having scent of the whole thing that will help you uh, mold your, your articles now because it was a necessity and we never had this equipment, I had to approach the administration seeking for support, of which I want to thank the administration. They never hit to that, they accepted. And facilitating me, I developed this equipment. There are five in number. Hoping that in the near future we'll be adding, uh, because also we have many students who are developing that special interest in acquiring this skill. But uh, coming back to what this uh, skill can help a student or a learner, you see we have, now we are moving into technology, science, development and all that. This at a later stage can be developed as ceramics engineering. There are a number of things that you can uh, cover with this. One, this is the art of making uh, such an, an uh, art piece. It is the art of making it, but there is something else that people cannot see. I can now develop uh, an idea of making ovens, because after here, we have to fire this. We put it in a kiln, and uh, if I want, for instance, to fire uh, stoneware, to fire porcelain, as we know it outside there, I need to develop a, a, a big system that can help me fire that kind of work. So that is already engineering. We go into electric, we go into uh, designing of the ovens. 
Then we have also to think about uh, there is what we call Uganda made products. We are fond of running to China, buying China things, but we want to see how can this young girl develop her mind into making a product which is as China product. Buy Uganda, build Uganda. That is it. Buy Uganda, build Uganda. So we are saying this is a, a kind of skill we cannot leave out and we are developing so far. This is this class I think this is senior too and so far they are trying to step on the portal away. I think this is now their second or th uh, third time. But I'm very much impressed the way students have developed this interest. I can show you, for instance, uh, what uh, Vanessa has already produced. And I think you know, for, uh, she, she's able to make a cylinder. And we know that ceramics, the moment you sit on a potter's wheel and you can make a cylinder, then you are nearing mastering the, the, the project. You are getting the skill so, so uh, quickly. So our friends here, we have uh, Rita. For instance, she's there. She's trying to to capture. She's on a wheel there. It is her third time, I know, but she's keen. She wants to see how she can develop this. Now we are saying, given enough time, these girls can acquire the skill, and they can push it to another level. Remember, we want to glaze these products at some point. And what are we going to do? We extract glaze from the broken glass. Remember, glass is got from sand. We would have used the sand, but we cannot get that actually sand. So we're going to uh, extract glaze from glass, broken glass. We have this broken glass in our community. Time and again, a glass is broken and thrown anywhere. So for us, we want to uh, extract glaze and also that is a matter of environmental protection and conservation so we'll get that glaze and these students will also get that skill of extracting glaze the glaze I'm talking about you look at the finished product it is a glassy surface a shiny surface that is the glaze I'm talking about so these students are going to be led into that skill also Wow, I believe, I, I don't have any further questions because I, I believe he has really gone deep. Now, we are privileged to have one of the administrators here who I am going to ask a few questions concerning this same activity. Good evening, sir. Good evening, young lady. Can you, uh, briefly introduce yourself. I'm Uriaronga Julius, working as a deputy teacher academic of this school, Machuri Tati Girls School. Thank you very much. Now, as you have seen, the senior tools have been told the senior tools are using their hands, they're using their feet, using clay to make beautiful articles. How is it that the administration of this school has become different from other schools and has embraced this new curriculum, has embraced what a teacher has I believe he approached you and he told you about this idea and you welcomed it. How, how are you different from other schools? What would you say about Immaculate Heart Community? Thank you. <coughs> when you look around, you see the school has already put in a lot of money in this, this uh, new curriculum. And they are supporting the fine art department to make sure that they train the students in different skills so that they can come up with different, different occupations. And this administration is very ready to put in any money that it can uh, manage to help the students develop the skills yeah so what advice would you give to other administrators of different schools to embrace this new curriculum to make sure senior ones and senior twos actually benefit from the new curriculum what advice would you give to administrators who are watching you right now in some schools they claim that the money is not there but this is very important because we want students after school to become a job creators, not job seeker. So whatever additional money that is available, they should inject the money into this kind of, of work. Because it will actually help the students to become better when they get out of school. Thank you very much. As you have heard, 
Immaculate Heart is really aiming at making sure we do not have girls who are job seekers but who are job creators. I've talked to the teachers, I've talked to an administrator, I've talked to one of the gentlemen helping them, but I'd like to talk to one of the students to ask her exactly what she is doing and how she feels doing this activity. Good evening. Good evening to you. Um, your name please. I'm called Alinda Jocelyn. Okay, so what what do you use to make these ceramic pots? What is this clay? It looks watery. What is it? Yeah, actually, it's clay. So briefly describe the whole procedure to make something like this. Well, I'll first, after mixing my clay, I'll get a bowl, a bowl out of clay. I'll put it on my on my wheel. After that, I'll have to to make sure that I already know what I want to make. After that, I'll, I'll hold my, I'll make sure what, whatever I'm doing, I'll hold my hands like this next to each other. And, and whatever I want to make, that will help me. In case I want to raise it, I'll put my, my thumb in and then begin holding between and then raising. Yeah. Um, don't your legs hurt after turning this entire tire? Because this looks like a, a truck tire. So isn't your leg tired of turning it over and over again? Yeah, actually, you get tired, but then by the time, by the more you, the more you try, the more you get used to it. So, as you have heard, as you have seen, we really need to embrace this new curriculum. And I am happy and proud that the school that I belong to, Immaculate Heart Girls School, has really done its best in making sure this curriculum is put into place. In making sure senior ones and senior twos actually get those hands-on skills. Honestly, I am more than proud to say I belong to this community. And I would like to interview one more person, just so she can tell us more. Hello. Hello. Um, briefly introduce yourself. Um, Kemba was Rita. Yes, she's Rita. What are you making? This looks like a very beautiful article. Yeah, I'm trying to make a bowl, maybe. Okay, so with this skill that you have just attained, what do you want to do with it in your future? Do you want to be a portress? Do you want to be a ceramics engineer? What do you want to be? Of course, I cannot drop my skill. I will have to do with it and maybe make something profitable in future, like making the ceramics, the articles, like plates, and then when they are sold off, can of course earn something. Thank you very much. As you've heard, this, she personally wants to be a ceramics engineer from the skill that she has learned right from Immaculate Heart. Now if you're watching me and you belong to a community that has a school, please and please embrace this new curriculum because it is going to take us places. It is going to equip people this age. I, I am Honest, I am envious of the next generation because honestly speaking, they are making the most beautiful articles. These could turn out to be one of the biggest things or one of them here could turn out to be one of the greatest ceramics engineers ever, like of all time. So to you all who are out there who still think this new curriculum is not the way to go, trust me, it is. Thank you very much and see you in our next edition. Mark TV, elevate.